Okay, I've got a weird one today. This is a 1971 Porsche 914 race car. Back in 2009, I was endurance racing with a bunch of friends in the 24 Hours of Lemons. We did several races in 2009, and then our team became too big that we needed to field two different cars. So half of the team, led by me, started building a Datsun 510, and the other half started building this Porsche 914. Since I was doing most of the work on the Datsun, I was only occasionally helping out with the Porsche. But this car saw a lot of jump car races in 2009 and possibly 2010. At some point, someone had the idea of moving away from the Porsche's original four-cylinder and putting something else in the car. Unfortunately, the engine swap was never completed and this car never raced again. The car was put away into storage, and that's where we end up today. My old team members have finally admitted that they have given up on this car as they have other things to do and other race cars to race. So I've ended up with the old 914 race car and I thought it would be a good project for us to work on. A lot of this proper race car stuff was done back when this car had its original engine. We do have tow hooks and tie down points. We have hella driving lights. I didn't come up with the livery for this car, but I did design and cut out and put on all of these decals. So instead of low and brow, it says low brow. And instead of Porsche, it says Porsche. This big hole in the front hides now a giant radiator. If we take a look inside, the wiring is just a complete mess. I imagine this was done when the other engine was put in. Looks like when they did the engine swap, they changed out the dashboard and put different gauges in there. But besides that, looks like everything is pretty much in place. The racing harnesses are missing. And I think there used to be a cool suit cooler sitting over there. Coming along to the rear. Now I think you can get an idea of what's hiding underneath the engine bay there. We have two exhaust pipes coming straight out of the back of the car. Let's take a look inside. Their solution for running the water hoses from the engine up to the radiator was to put them into this metal rain gutter because in the rules it says that your fluids must be separated from the driver with metal and then the engine not sure if it did interfere but definitely to get to things there's now this door here in the firewall and that covers everything up so that nobody gets hurt and that is a good access panel to getting to the front of the engine. Let's go ahead and turn the power on, see if anything happens. Okay, the gauges did light up. Let's turn the ignition on. Fuel pump's running. I don't know if we have a... It says we have 10 volts over there. Not sure we have any fuel pump was getting kind of loud. Last time this car was on track was 13 years ago. So will this car run? Nobody knows. There's a neat T handle that was put onto the fuel filler. Make that quick during the endurance races. Let's pop this cover off now and take a look at the engine. If your guess about what was under the hood was a small block Chevy, you were correct. An adapter plate has been made to adapt it to the original Porsche transaxle. And I believe the transaxle has been moved back. I guess we can see the mounts right there. Probably five inches. The fuel pump runs. So why don't we put some fuel in here, see if it'll start. I did have a battery charger on the battery, but it is so old, I'm sure it won't be able to crank the engine over. So I am going to connect a jump pack up as well. OK, 
I will turn the power on. Ignition. Okay, so the key, I guess, turns the gauges on and off. I guess that's neutral. Pedals are way off to the side. Brake is where you would expect the gas to be. Let's give it a go. Okay, I'm gonna need a bigger battery pack. Now I have my really big NOCO battery pack hooked up. Let's get it turned on. And I think it's ready. Let's try this again. Wow, that's crazy. We have good oil pressure. I cannot believe how quickly that just fired right up. This thing hasn't run in years. Let's make sure we're not leaking anything. The funny thing about this exhaust is right now it's not that loud. I don't see any leaks. I guess the reliability of the small block Chevy uh, rings true with this vehicle. I guess now I can hop in, see if the brakes work, try to drive it. Okay, here we go. I have never driven this car with the V8 engine. I think this car was only driven once with the engine swap. And I was told the shift pattern is now backwards and upside down. There used to be a drawing of where the gears were, but nobody knows where that is anymore. So I guess I'll just try some positions and see what happens. So am I going to go? I am going forward. This might be first gear. Feels pretty good. For some reason, I had trouble getting second gear. I never did get it, but I think I found first, third, and fourth. Uh, there's horrible smell of Bernie Mouse Nest coming from somewhere. And it looks like our water temp did start to come up. I do know that the one time it was driven that this came loose. You can see that nut is loose right there and the shift linkage came out of adjustment so that they couldn't get any gear. That's probably why I can't get second gear right now. 
It probably needs adjusted before I can get all the gears, but it seems like I at least have first, third, and fourth. I never did try reverse gear. I did find the list of things that were left before the car could be uh, raced. Calibrate fuel gauge, exhaust hangers, cage upgrade, transmission cooler, rear bodywork, studs on target bar, windshield, breather setup, strut tower to cross member support, a radio harness, and the windshield. Right now I just have the windshield duct taped in. It was sitting on a shelf when I picked up the car. So what should I do with this car? I did not think that we would get this running this easily. If you have any ideas on what I should do with the lowbrow Porsche 914, comment below. And if you want to see more videos of this car, go ahead and click subscribe so you will be notified when I post another video.